Well, fall's here. Here we had all corn on this end. Now I'm following legumes. Got uh, edamame soybean down there. Got runner beans on poles. Snow peas and jicama growing. Past that, lots of cabbage, garlic, and onions. Beauties, huh? Looks good. I got a little bit of Maui onion in over there. I would get some more seed. I ran out of uh, uh, Maui onion. I was planting it last summer, and uh, it, it did not do well for me during summer planting. So now I'm trying to plant in the fall and winter. We'll see how we do with the Maui onions. Californian and Hawaii can't live without artichokes, so we're trying. I don't know how well I'm going to do, but we're trying. Uh, whole sea of sweet potato going out this direction. Uh, during spring and summer I had terrible problems with a thing called the pickle worm that ate all of my kabocha squash and so I replaced it all with sweet potatoes uh, because they do much better here. I'm planting kabocha and butternut squash again now that fall is set again because the pickle worm is out of season in the winter. A local habanero pepper seed here. The uh, the habanero seems to do pretty well. We got lots and lots of fruit in here. We got even more fruit laying out here on the ground though because there's some kind of a fly gets into these things and does that to them. I'm not even sure what it is yet. But it drills into a lot of the peppers. I've started using spinosad on it. Hopefully that's going to control it. Cause it's despite the fact the plants grew real well, had a lot of losses on the fruit because of this. There's rows of peppers and eggplants uh, left over from spring planting. Uh, they're still doing pretty well. Eggplant doing much better than the peppers, actually. I've started applying spinosad and oil out here. Uh, and I hope to control this problem. And it looks like it's working. I'm starting to get fruit hanging on the, on the plants now. Beautiful eggplants. I started putting in passion vines down here at the front of the property yesterday. These require some big poles and I have to stretch wire on them. These were the last two purple passion vines that I had from my California stock. So before I sold out all the plants and seeds, I decided I'd better put the last two out here in the field, get them going so I can maintain the variety. I'm trying again with squash. So far, so good. No attack. Of course, it's cooler weather now, and I think that bug that was eating my squash in summer has gone out of season. I also stuck in a row of disease-resistant tomato here in the weed block. I'm hoping the weed block will keep some of the soil bacteria and fungi off of the leaves when it rains. That's a problem here with tomato. What a gorgeous place to have a garden. I love my ocean view. We got the whole edge of the world out there and all the Kilauea's volcanoes standing here in the garden with the trade winds moving around me. Truly a beautiful location. Well, there's sweet corn planting number five for the year uh, with a row of pineapples on the outside. This is doing better than planting number four. It's higher ground here. I see the cars parked down there. We're up the hill. Uh, it got awful wet after I put the other batch in, and I think some of it kind of flooded out. Yeah, this is higher, doing much better. They look really good. Sweet corn is an outstanding crop here. Well, that's about the size of it for now. Sorry about my neighbor's dogs not being able to stop barking. A carpenter building a house back here behind us. Right there, we got a new resident coming in. He was running a planer back there. Screaming of the planer seemed to get the dogs all worked up and they just won't shut up this morning. So I give up. Happy gardening. Aloha.